How's it going, YouTube? It's Cyclone here, and uh, I thought I would bring you guys a video of my first ever uh, ultimate character in Grim Dawn. Now, I call this character the Flame Spirit Saboteur. So, basically, I'm combining Flame Torrent with Blade Spirit as the primary damage dealer here. But I also include uh, some other skills, which help this character uh, handle trash mobs. I use Blade Trap uh, to keep them at bay. I use uh, Mortar with uh, Blizzard, and that'll help keep Blizzard going every you know couple seconds or so, as long as we get a critical with Mortar Strike. Uh, I also have Behemoth with Giant's Blood on Veil of Shadow, so that's proccing fairly consistently. Uh, and overall, uh, it's uh, been a pretty good build, and I just started pushing it uh, into Ultimate. So, um, it's so far so good, uh, but, you know, time will tell once I completely polish this character off and make sure that everything is complete, how it'll run. But as of right now, uh, I'm enjoying the build. And uh, you'll see here the clear speed is solid. Uh, I can take out mobs fairly effectively in ultimate difficulty. Uh, just as an example, up here on the start. And you'll see how uh, Blade Spirit with Flame Torrent can do a ton of damage. And a blizzard will come down and cause some havoc. And, uh, you know, I can stay mobile with this character uh, because I have a lot of ranged options. Again, uh, the Blade Spirits completely destroy um, trash. And I'm, you know, boosting my fire damage in general with Demolitionist. I'm boosting my cold damage, poison damage, uh, physical damage with Nightblade, and the combination is really good. I, I don't really encounter a lot of enemies with huge resistances to this build. It covers the gambit, really, when it comes to damage types. Um, there will still be some damage types that uh, might be able to avoid, like, you know, uh, like high resistance maybe to fire damage might still be a problem, and cold damage because I'm not really using Chaos or Vitality damage with this build at all. But still, I'm really enjoying how it's progressing. You know, at, at level 79, um, I still have room to see where this build can go. So that's all always great. Um, Again, uh, this build can handle trash fine, and it also handles elite monsters pretty well. Um, if I do find myself getting into some trouble, what's great about this build is I can run away, and I can still have damage consistently going toward the target, unless Blade Spirit decides to be retarded and not target properly, but that's not usually the case. Like right here, as you can see, it's just sitting there, but it's still shooting out the blades, and that does damage, and once I feel like my health is padded up enough, or if I pop a potion, um, I'll go in and start using um, a Master's Blade Burst on him. So, uh, which I boosted a bunch with the gear that I have. Now, just note, uh, all the gear that I have uh, in this game is self-found. I do not mod, I do not use any sort of program or, you know, build characters through coding. I buy the game, I play the game, and I acquire the loot through gameplay. So. Everything you see here is legit. Um, I've only been playing this game for about 150 hours. So this is literally my first ultimate character. I did not really use a build guide, but I did change my tactics after trying a ranged demolitionist and just not doing the damage necessary. Um, once I got uh, Blade Spirits, things started to really connect with this character, and I focused more on... Nightblade as the offensive um, damage dealer uh, instead of Demolitionist. 
and uh, you know uh, for talismans uh, right now uh, I don't have a great one on um, but it does allow me to use mana uh, mana infusion um, which allows me to regenerate my mana if I start to you know dry out <laughs> as it were so in the heat of combat that can help me you know cast another blade spirit or have my camera fall but um, yeah I apologize for this camera um, I can't actually upload on the software that uh, I can record with it's not my software unfortunately it's a borrowed computer it's the only place that I can play the game at the moment so I apologize for that but uh, you know I think uh, this build's going along well. And I can't wait to see where it goes in, you know, max level. And right there I was in trouble, but, you know, running, <laughs> running can save you. So, you see the damage there? It's not too shabby. I mean, I'm not even doing my, you know, melee attack on it. I'm just letting my blade spirits do a lot of the work while I'm repositioning and getting health back. With, uh, I also use blade trap. Uh, that's my crowd control very useful and it allows this build to kind of shine through um, you can play with groups or solo and uh, it works well either way I have not really tested it for bosses but I plan on doing so soon uh, because I think the damage is pretty close to there it's just the survivability and some of the resistances I don't have good resistance to vitality damage I also don't have good resistance to uh, chaos in the general scheme, but you can always pop potions for that too, so it's really not the end of the world. That's what's great about Grim Dawn. There's a lot of ways you can enter combat through, you know, you can decide, you can pop a potion here or there if you're lacking somewhere. You know, it's not all about just BIS gear. Uh, right now, again, I'm not using BIS gear. I'm using self-found gear, and I basically made this build off of what I had available to me. Uh, so it's a mixture of rares and legendaries. Uh, you'll see I have Death Whispers here. I have Nightshades Reach. This is where I'm getting all those uh, Nightblade points. I found that today, Shroud of Illusion, and that really helped my build substantially um, with the... Uh, elemental damage. Now, Alchemist Belt is really important because that extra potion uh, can really help you. This, this build's a little bit squishy. Two-handed attacker with under 9,000 health, so that's a little bit of a, of a glass cannon. Uh, so that belt really helps me stay alive. I have other belts I could use for damage or even resistances, but you know that's really how it works well for me. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.